Howdy everybody, my name's Jason and today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial on how to use one point perspective. So let's jump right in. So all perspective starts out with a horizon line. And what a horizon line is, is it's that line way off in the distance. It's like the skyline sort of that you see between the sky and the earth. So imagine you're looking out on a desert plain and it's just completely flat, way, way out there where the desert touches the sky, that's the horizon line. And that's what we're gonna create. So let's create a new layer. And using our brush, we're just gonna create a straight line right across our canvas. And I'm just holding down shift while I do that to make sure that the line stays completely straight. Next, we need a vanishing point. So let's create a new layer for our vanishing point and we will go ahead and click right in the center of our page and this is our one point this is why it's called one point perspective is because there's only one point in it so next what we want to do is we want to create a shape somewhere it can be any shape you want so we're going to try two different shapes we're going to do a rectangle and we're going to do a circle so we'll go ahead let's grab our shape tool and we'll go ahead and make a rectangleish square Let's put it on solid, change my color to black. There we go. And then we're also going to create a circle. So we'll come back to our shape tool and go to ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold down shift to make a perfect circle. Cooly coolio. Um, next, we're going to create our vanishing point lines. So this is our vanishing point. And the reason why it's a vanishing point is because all perspective lines in this scene will vanish to that point. So we'll go ahead and create those. Let's create, come back to our vanishing point layer and we'll just click on our vanishing point, hold down shift, and then we're just going to come right to the edge of our circle like that. So we get a nice line coming to it. I'm gonna go back one more time so I can thicken it. All right, cool. Now we're gonna do that one more time to the top of our circle. So we'll click, hold down shift. Whoops, a little bit off. You use the marquee tool to select it and paste it. Whoops. Right now it's a shape so you can't copy it. So I'm gonna try erasing it real quick, hit okay. And now I can erase it. So let's go ahead and copy it. That's control C or command C on a Mac. And then we're gonna paste it in using Control V or Command V. We'll shrink it down so that it fits within these two lines, but further down the line, just like that. All right, now we want to erase out that area. And then we're gonna come back to our layer with our lines on it. And we're going to erase away these lines. Feels so good. All right, so there we have it. We have, let's turn off our vanishing or our horizon line, and now you can see we have a cylinder in perspective. Now let's quickly do the square. I hope you guys are getting the idea of this. All right, so we'll turn our vanishing or our horizon line back on, and then, whoops, I got rid of our vanishing point. All right, make sure you don't erase your vanishing point because all things need to lead back to the vanishing point. All right, using our brush tool, we'll just click at the corner of our square, and then we'll lead our line back to our vanishing point, go to the other corner. And then with the square, we just need to replicate this vertical line somewhere further down the line, depending on how long you want it to be. So let's say this is a train coming from our vanishing point, then it might be way, way down there, like that. Then we can go ahead and erase the lines that are not part of our object like that and like I said maybe this is a train so this is getting into more technical things so I won't go very far into it but you can start adding lines going all the way down to the end of your train and they would get closer and closer together so that could be like our first car that'd be like our second car be our third car fourth car fifth car, sixth car, seventh car, and our 
eighth car and the next one would be the ninth car and you can see that the distance between the two lines get further and further apart so the closer it gets to the vanishing point the smaller things are going to get and the less distance there's going to be between the same objects all right you guys i hope this video helped you understand one point's perspective if it did go ahead and click the subscribe button and i'll bring you many more videos on how to create digital artwork also if you have any video requests I am all for doing videos that you guys want me to do. So go ahead and send me a message or a comment and ask me to do a certain video and I will definitely do it. Thanks for watching guys. My name is Jason. Have a great life.